Today, the modern parent, believe it or not, temper tantrums are a normal part of growing up. The Children's Workshop explains how to respond to temper tantrums and how to prevent them in the first place. Since every child is different, tantrums can range in all different ways. And some children will kick, scream, hold their breath, have a long, drawn-out temper tantrum, while other children will just have a little one and move on their way. These types of behaviors are common in both boys and girls and usually happen between the ages of one to three years old. And most of the reasons why they have temper tantrums, sometimes they're seeking attention from another adult, they're tired, they're hungry, and a big one is, um, they're usually, it, it's an area that they're uncomfortable with or a person they're uncomfortable with, so they might have a meltdown at that time. Some children will have regular tantrums, while some children will rarely ever have them. But keep in mind, this is a normal part of development. Patience is the key. Keep your cool. As hot as it sounds, the, the child, you want to give in to that. Here, have it so you can stop, but don't give in to unreasonable demands because you're only going to make them a lot worse. There's no foolproof way to prevent tantrums, but there are things you can do to weather the storm. You want to stay close to the child. Um, obviously, the child's having a temper tantrum. You want to ignore that behavior if they're not hurting themselves, because the more you feed into that behavior, the more it's going to escalate. I call it like a storm brewing. So if you're feeding into it, that temper tantrum is going to escalate. It's also a good idea to prep a child for a situation that's likely to trigger a tantrum. If you're a parent, you know your child, or if you're a teacher, you know your children. So you're going to look for those cues, and let's say your son, every night he's like sent to bed, and he has his meltdown. Well, you know that's a cue, that he's going to have a meltdown every time you say that, so stop preparing him for that. When your child behaves well, offer some extra attention. After it, the child's finally calm, you want to reassure them that you understand that they were frustrated, that they were mad, that, you know, mom still loves you, you want to give them a hug, you want to validate that they're angry, and how they can channel it. And the most important thing to remember is to keep your cool. If you follow the steps and you look for cues and you keep your calm and patience and ignore the negative behavior, your child will eventually stop doing it because they're not getting the attention from it. And for more information from the Children's Workshop on how to keep the peace during temper tantrums, you can just visit foxprovidence.com.